We hope it's neither of us can seem to get our fans correct today. Apparently, but whatever. It is that it's a Monday, so it's a Monday. Hey, it is. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Cup TV, part of the Cup Network, where we put the real entity in reality, and where you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I am your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Per. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I'm not drinking anything. Didn't grab nothing to drink. So I'm fine. But what I always have close by and in hand is my cup mug. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And you can get your cup mug with me and Logan. Your cup mug of Big Brother staple. And you know what else? But get your Big Brother. I mean, your cup mug. At LanaGeeCreations.etsy.com. That link will be in the description below. You can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch. We do ship domestically here in the United States, Canada, Mexico, and we do ship internationally, so there are no excuses. So get your cup merch, period. Yes. And I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. I am just drinking some water right now uh, because hydration is incredibly important. And, uh, this house is all over the place. I need to stay hydrated, Lana. So do you. <laughs> I do. I do. Because this house is a mess and it's on fire. But we are here to talk about all things Big Brother. But first, you know what you need to do. Subscribe to this channel and subscribe to all of our other channels. All those links will be in our description below. And you can click on any of our links, subscribe, and follow, share, do all the things. We appreciate you. You can also follow us on our audio podcast channels as well. And do all of those things. And you can join our Patreon. So get our Patreon list and join it as well. So you can get early access to all things across all four channels. And exclusive content across all four channels. So check it out. Get, get, get into it. Get into it. And we're talking all things Big Brother right here. Because like well, Logan said, this house, this house is a mess. This house is on fire. And we're going to talk about it. So since we last showed up, the last thing we talked about was live feeds things and what happened on the live feeds. And uh, we found out that our new HOH was Angela and slash Not Quinn really. Slash Quinn. <laughs> because Quinn, of course, once Angela won the HOH, we knew Quinn absolutely was going to use the deep fake HOH. Can and, we, uh, for a moment, talk about this HOH comp? Because uh -huh. uh, I love this HOH comp, I will say. Good old mm -hmm. knockout comp, classic mm -hmm. knockout kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, I like the AI little twist that they did with this. But mm -hmm. the real thing to talk about is the fact that Brooklyn was up in her ceiling. She took it very personally. Because Angela picked her back to back rounds mm -hmm. she was like, to what? go up yeah. into the, uh, the booth. And uh, she got her own question wrong. So, you know, whatever. And it almost, it was almost Cam. Could you imagine? Yeah. The week wouldn't have been any different. Other than Angela <laughs> being on the block. Right. But. I mean, Cedric wouldn't have been there. No. It would have been Angela Tucker and probably McKenzie. McKenzie. Oh, 100% but. McKenzie. That was the, it was either going to be McKenzie. It was going to be McKenzie, Angela, and whoever stayed between Tucker and Kenny. Right. So. It would it, it would have been fine. It would have been what it was. But I I was like, okay, Cam, you did really good. If I didn't know who had won HOH before I watched it, then I wouldn't know. But I'm like, okay, it worked. But Angela, be, I mean, because uh, Brooklyn wasn't the only person in their feelings because Tucker was a little bit in his feelings when Cam picked him twice. So we saw some people getting their feelings when people got picked yeah. twice to go. But um, Angela wins and it automatically we knew Quinn is going to use his power. Absolutely. Oh, obviously. But Angela apparently really didn't know what the power in what what the power actually was. Because Miss Girl was very much thinking she would pick three and then Quinn would pick three. And I was like, no. <laughs> There, there's not about to be six people on the block. Right. No, that's crazy. Half the house on the block. That's insane. That would be chaos in a great way, but like it now. Would be wild. <laughs> what it would be. But, but like they don't. And so she's not 
fully understanding what their power is. And Quinn is like, I don't know what she's expecting. Cause like she's, she called him out, but not really knowing what she was actually calling out. And so that was interesting to see. It was interesting to see. And then when she started to realize exactly what the power was, because she was going on and on with her and Tucker, and she was like, I got you. Like, we go be this. Da, da, da. And I don't know if Tucker didn't realize it either or understand the power, but they were going on strategy conversations on what i'm like why are we even talking to angela she has no power here winning hoh for angela this week basically just means she's safe safe. and gets a room to herself for a week sure that's it next in a room yeah and a and a and a birthday basket six days early If y'all didn't see that on feeds, oh, uh, producers God. royally fucked up when, um, uh, when or royally fucked up when Angela's birthday was, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. they got their alcohol delivery and like a happy birthday Angela basket. And she was like, I didn't even know it was my birthday, and they were like, It's, it's not- the 11th, and she was like, No, my birthday's on the 17th. So will we get another Angela birthday celebration? Who knows? Probably. Probably. But, but yeah, it, we get that. And so she starts to realize what her power actually entails. Mm-hmm. Quinn, on the other hand, is going around meeting with everybody, meeting with people. He met with the visionaries for once. They had a, a visionaries meeting. And he was like, this is my group. I know I'm the Pentagon is the protective to protect me kind of group. But the visionaries are my real group. And I was like, oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Work. And he he did that. He 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 talked to them. He told them his plan to maybe put up T I mean not T put up um Tucker, mm-hmm. McKenzie, and possibly Rubina. But Kimo and T Core, he didn't really want Rubina to go up. Because they are kind of working with Rubina as well. But they didn't want to be like, oh, no, 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 not Rubina. But they were like, oh, makes sense. But wouldn't it be smart to put up competitors against Tucker? Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, yeah, that might be smart. So he goes to Cedric and tells Cedric that he might put them up, put him up. Cedric, of course, doesn't want to go up, but he's like, but it makes sense. And if you want to do that, I can't stop you, but I don't really want to. (laughs) So it's kind of a back and forth type deal. Yeah. I mean, eventually he agrees. You know what? If, if I need to go up in order to, you know, have two opportunities to beat Tucker potentially, mm-hmm. then that's just what I'll do. And uh, that's what is going to happen. And I love this nomination ceremony because the moment I found out that Angela won head of household, I said, and I tweeted this. I was like, the moment I realized, Oh my God, we're about to get a deep fake Angela. Because I remembered hearing from the twist of the twist of uh, the twist of twist of it all that there would literally be a deep fake version of the current HOH and that they would get uh, they would be making the nominations on behalf of Quinn. And I was like, oh, Lord, we're about to get a deep fake Angela. This is going to be very entertaining. And it was because I still don't think like we said, I don't think she understood exactly what the whole situation was she had no um, <laughs> and so she makes her quote unquote nominations of MJ Cedric and Tucker and the whole time she's sitting there like i didn't do that, didn't do that. girl we know you we didn't know. do that we know you didn't girl that's not me everybody knows it wasn't you 
And then after yeah. after the nominations were over, Quinn stood up and said, "Hey, this is the reasons I nominated all three of you. Okay, let's go, <laughs> competitors on the block." I'm like, "All right, diva." It's so dumb. I'm like, Ugh. that power would have been so much better if Quinn never said anything to anybody. I need people to get who gets powers like that to just not say anything. Don't say anything to anybody. Let, let that power rest. You tell no one. So nobody knows that it was a deep fake power and you did it. Like, because now it just seems like it's like, uh, all right, we know he did it. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh, it's boring. It, it ruins its edge. But whatever. So that's how the episode ends with the three of them being nominated. And everybody's like, oh my God, okay, Quinn. He, he, he does his thing. Competitors. Ooh. All right. So. We're going to get into spoilers now, live feed spoilers. So if you don't want to hear any live feed spoilers, this is the time where you can exit stage left or right. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Please follow us on all of our socials. And we record every Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So please check that out if you want to keep in the know. So we move. We'll give you a chance to say bye. 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 Okay, right. yeah. So, so the veto happens. Um, I don't know who the other two players were, Lana. I don't know if you saw it on. on I think Feast it was at Brooklyn. All. I think it was Brooklyn again. And, uh, <laughs> yes, Brooklyn again. Jesus I think Christ. Was, I think it was Leah. I could be wrong again. I think it was Leah. Yeah. I could be wrong, but that's what I thought I saw. But I don't know for sure. Anyway, none of that fucking matters. Because guess what? Tucker won Tucker Vito wins. again. Again. And it was a memory comp. Now I'm scared for them. I'm scared. Now I'm terrified. Now I'm this man can do it all. And Everyone's like, are... oh, Tucker's going to have to win out. Tucker's going to have to win out. I think he might. He could. He I absolutely think he could. could. And he is growing a bit of an army. I have to say, he's got a couple people. Um, oh but God. here's where the drama starts happening. Uh -huh. Because Tucker is talking and he's trying to figure out if he should use the veto again on himself. Because he knows that if he takes himself off, who probably goes up is going to be Rubina. And he doesn't want to see Rubina on the block. He doesn't want to see Rubina go home. But he can't say that. And he can't act like he it will bother him so much. So he's trying to act tough going, I'm like, I don't care if you put her up or not. Whatever. And But in his mind, when he talks to her, he's like, I really don't want you to go up. I really don't want you to go up. So... It's just a back and forth. And he's contemplating on not using the veto at all. And I'm like, oh. Oh. Okay. But in the end, <laughs> he talks to everybody. He talks to people. He's telling these plans. But in the end, the veto meeting happened just before we came on the air and before yeah. we recorded. And he did decide to use it for himself because Angela told him he needed to. And a lot of people the told him Angela he needed to. Angela being the voice of reason in this it's whole like, situation is wild to me. Wild. And she was just like, you can't do that again and be expect people to save you. You need yeah. to save yourself. And yeah. he was like, you know, you're right. Da da da. So he yeah. did use the veto on himself. And Rubina Rubina. was the replacement nominee. And so our final noms are Mackenzie, Rubina, and Cedric. Um, and we just have to see what the AI arena holds for everyone on Thursday and how it's going to play itself out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting. There's been a lot of talks now, specifically between Chemo and t about potentially leaving Quinn out of this vote because Quinn wants to target Mackenzie and a lot of the house is fine with Mackenzie going, but the anti Tucker people are really like, okay, we need to take Tucker down a notch. And the way to currently do that is to take out Rubina. Um, so there is a move now 
for potentially Rubina to be the target and Rubina to go home, which I think is dumb and stupid. Not really. I think it's actually a great move. For the people that don't like Tucker, I think it's a great move to take out Rubina. Um, I just like Rubina, so I wouldn't like her to leave. This right, me too, me too. But and I don't really like Mackenzie, so I would like her to leave. Absolutely. But I am hopeful that Rubina is going to take care of this AI arena. They vote out Mackenzie, and uh, that could be that. I hope, I hope and pray. But that's where we're going to leave off because uh, not much else has happened. But thank you for joining us for this Big Brother recap. We will be back on Thursday after the live eviction to dive into the live eviction. Who knows what's going to happen? Will their two minutes of strategy time actually be worth something this time? Who knows? Uh, Subscribe, like, and share on the way out. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Check the description below for all of our other links and where you can get your merch, including with our limited two cup mug. And with that, we're going to get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. From way, way, way outside the Big Brother house, we've been the cup. Live life, love yourself, and only yourself. Good night, house guests.